Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, this was the last problem for today, which is replacing the loading on the frame by a single resultant force and then specify where its line of action intersects a vertical line along member AB, which will be a line somewhere on there. So that being said, let's get started. You know that the Result, the first thing you have to do is find the resultant force, which is the sum of the forces in the X and the sum of the forces in the Y. So the sum of the forces in the X are just this 600 Newton force. Sum of the forces in the Y are these three forces. This is assuming the right is positive and this is assuming up is positive. So that will be 200 negative minus 400 minus 200 newtons all of this is in newtons so this is equal to minus 800 newtons so you know that the force is equal to 600 in the i minus 800 in the j all in newtons this magnitude can be found by doing the x component square plus the y component square, which is equal to 1000 newtons. The angle theta can be found by doing the tangent inverse of the y component over the x component. Don't forget the signs when you input the values in this equation. And you would get that is equal to minus 53.13 degrees but some places might require you to do positive angles only for God knows why 306.87 degrees so F is equal to 1000 at an angle of 306.87 degrees now that we find the force we know that the sum of the moments are on point A, which is this point right here, assuming counterclockwise is positive, is equal to each of the forces times the lever arm. Now, this force doesn't really generate any moment. This 600 force times this lever arm right here it's generating a negative moment. This 400 pound force times this lever arm right here, which has 0.5 length is 0.5 times negative 400. And it's also negative because it's turning it this way. And this one was negative because it was turning it this way, which is also clockwise. And the last one is this 200, which is turning this longer lever arm of length one, which is minus 200 times one. So when you add all of these together, you're gonna get that the sum of the moments around A is negative 1300 Newton meters. And if you wanted to find the distance from A, you know that it's equal to the sum of the moments at a over the sum of the forces only in the x. Why in the x? Because if you look at this force, which is 600 minus 800, it looks something like this. 600, 800 slightly longer. So this is how the force really looks. And if I was to put this force somewhere on this thing, oops, that sucked. Give me one second. There we go. You would look something like something like that, but only 
the x component is generated in a moment the y component is not doing anything because it's going straight to the point the x component is 600 so you have to divide it by 600 you don't have to divide it by the magnitude of the whole force that's important to understand so d is equal to 1300 over 600 uh, means that d is equal to 2.167 meters now if i had to place it it would be somewhere on this line let me erase it from down here then. So it's somewhere over here. Final answer. Final answer for that force.